Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, today we're going to be doing this um, unboxing or opening of this package here. It didn't actually come in a box, but uh, of the Powerline 426. I got this. It's a BB gun. I really got this just um, for a little like backyard training and for the kids and stuff um, to kind of start learning a little more. Um, so... Yeah, I, I've never owned a BB gun. I'm not really sure what to expect. Um, it feels pretty heavy uh, in the package. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, open this thing up. Open, open this thing up and uh, check it out. Um, let's see what it says. Capacity, 15 shot built in. BB magazine. Max distance, uh, 209 yards, overall length, weight, yeah, so it's about a pound, that's just a gun, I'm assuming, without the CO2, without the BBs, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, open it up and see what we got here. Okay, so, I went ahead and took it out of the packaging, um, doesn't feel as heavy as like a Glock would, or a, you know, a MMP shield. It does feel lighter. Uh, the first thing I try to do right now is I try to um, pull the slide back because I'm accustomed to checking if there's something in the chamber or not. And this slide actually doesn't slide back. So that was the first thing I noticed is like, it looks like it's actually fixed into place. Um, let's get some focus here. Yeah, so that's not going to move. So I wasn't used to that. I thought that was a little weird. But it makes sense, obviously. The BBs look like they go up there, up top. You just put it in that little hole. And uh, I'm assuming you just slide back that, that spring there. Um, oh, wait. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I guess that's how you do it. That little notch right there. That'll hold the spring in place. And you pull it, and it slides back. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, you got your safety, obviously, on this side. So, if you don't see orange, your safety is on. You push it. See the orange, your safety is off. Um, it firing like that with no rounds, no having to slide it back or anything, and it's just empty. That's new to me. So that's, I guess that's kind of cool too. I'm not used to being being able to just pull the trigger. Um, it looks like that's a CO2. That's where the CO2 goes. Let me open it up so you can check it out inside. Okay, so that one. I was looking for like a release or something. There's no release. Basically, you guys, you just pull this thing down. Um, so I was expecting to have to find some type of button or release or anything. No, you just, you just basically pull it out of place. So it looks like that's where your CO2 would go. You tighten it up. Yeah, it seems pretty simple. Or, I mean, you could, I don't know if you have to tighten it up before or after. I don't think it would really make a difference to be honest, but. I'm not entirely sure. You could tighten it up after, but I don't know if you'd have to tighten it up before. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see these sights. You have to excuse the mess on my table. Can I focus in here? Yeah, um, let's go ahead and shoot it and see how, how this thing shoots. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I load this thing up. Um, it's pretty easy to open. It's just, uh, you just pull that thing out, basically. Um, let's make sure our safety's on. Safety's on. And we load in our CO2. Okay, I just heard it open up. And then this thing, as long as you get these lined up just right, um, should slide in fairly easily. If you feel yourself having to force it, it's probably because you didn't align it correctly. Um, 
And then we slide this bad boy up right here, all the way to the top, move it to the left so that we can load her up with BB. I believe it holds about 14, supposedly 15, but looks more like 14. So yeah, you could probably squeeze one more in there. I'm not going to. Move that guy back to the right there slightly so that it's lined up just right and we are ready to shoot it so i went ahead and just put a piece of styrofoam there it's, it's basically it's a cooler um i fully expect this to go through it um i just want to see if i can catch it i expect it to go through the first side i don't know again i'm not very familiar with bb guns this is my first bb gun um which i've heard good things about but i don't know if i expect it to go through two sides through the back side of this cooler as well it's just styrofoam but uh i guess we'll find out i want to see if i can catch one inside of the cooler um so we'll see if it either goes through both sides or if i'm able to stop them after the first uh after the first sheet of styrofoam i don't know we'll see i guess And we're out. Okay, so I, I was seeing pieces of styrofoam flying up. So I did know I hit it quite a few times, even though it's a little harder to tell from the distance. Um, but I don't see anything in here. Can we go through the back side? And we did go through the back side. Okay. So, oh, and we actually caught some BBs in there. So that's kind of cool. There's quite a few actually. There's That looks like one, two, three. Other than that, none of them got caught on the front, which I kind of expected. I'm a little disappointed I don't have one inside though. But um, I guess that just goes to show how, how powerful this thing is. Um, I, I know it's just styrofoam, but I did expect to have at least one in there, and I guess I don't, so there you guys go. So anyways, guys, that's my review of the Powerline 426 by Daisy, um, my first BB gun. Uh, I am pretty impressed with it. I don't know if that says a lot, because again, it is my first BB gun, but uh, for the price, I would definitely recommend it, absolutely. Um, I think you guys should go out and get yourselves one. They're only about 20, 25 bucks. You can pretty much find them anywhere online. Um, and yeah, why not? Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.